everyone today we are going to learn about cooperating processes the learning outcome of this session are student will be able to define cooperating process concept and illustrate producer consumer problem let us recall what is process as we know process is nothing but program in execution many type of processes execute concurrently in the system so there are two types of processes independent process and dependent process independent process cannot be affect or be affected by any other process and it, these are the processes which do not share any of the information with any other process whereas dependent process which is also called as cooperating process share information with other processes and it can be affect or be affected by any other process executing in the system so cooperating processes share information with each other let us see the advantages of cooperating process cooperating process allows information sharing as many users require same type of information to be shared so cooperating process allows such type of information to be shared between many users for example file or variable computation speed up suppose we have a task which is to be executed in faster manner then that task can be divided into sub task and that sub task can be run in parallel to get the result faster so in this way the cooperating process support computation speed up and communication between the processes allows to get the result from that sub task and computation speed up can be achieved modularity we want to design a system in modular fashion so cooperating process allows to design a system in modular fashion by making it more convenient making the system in convenient means it makes user to make it easy to use and allow different type of information to be shared with each other for cooperating process inter process communication model is required so that inter process communication model allows cooperating process to exchange information with each other there are two fundamental model of inter process communication they are message passing system and shared memory in message passing system the processes can communicate with each other by exchanging messages while in shared memory the processes can communicate with each other by using a shared region a part of memory is shared between the processes which wish to communicate with each other and using that shared memory region process can exchange information with each other message passing system is useful for exchanging smaller amount of data while shared memory is used to exchange information which may be in big amount and shared memory gives maximum speed and convenience and it is more faster than message passing system because message passing system is implemented using system calls so it is quite time consuming while in shared memory system call is used to establish only shared memory region once the shared memory region is established there is no kernel intervention when process is communicating with each other and that's why shared memory is more faster than message passing system let us see one example of cooperating process that is producer consumer process in producer consumer process producer produces an item which is uh, stored in a buffer and consumer has to consume that item from the buffer for example compiler may generate assembly code that is consumed by assembler assembler in turn may generate object code that in turn consumed by loader and there is one more example of producer consumer that is server and client where server produces an html files and images which is consumed or read by the client web browser by where the client has requested that pages to the server so server and client is also one example of producer consumer process producer and consumer process must be synchronized the producer can produce one item while consumer 
consuming another item they must be synchronized so that the consumer does not try to consume an item that has not yet been produced by the producer process now just pause a video and just think that which communication model is required to implement producer consumer problem write down your answer okay let us see as we know there are two communication model message passing system and shared memory so to implement producer consumer problem shared memory is used shared memory is nothing but it it is a buffer buffer is a region which is to be shared between producer and consumer it is nothing but a shared memory which is shared between producer and consumer process the size of the buffer must be fixed or unbounded so unbounded buffer places no limit on the size of the buffer where only consumer process will wait till there is no item in the buffer but producer process will never wait because there as size of the buffer is not fixed producer process goes on producing an item while in bounded buffer size of the buffer is fixed so in bounded buffer the consumer will wait if there is no item into the buffer and the producer will produce and producer will wait if buffer is full now let us see the bounded buffer producer consumer problem the common data structure between producer and consumer process are shown here we can see that buffer size is equal to 10 and it uses two variables that is in and out which points to the in points to the next free position in the buffer while out points to the first full position in the buffer as shown in the figure here we have a buffer with size 10 and in and out both point to the first position into the buffer currently now let us see the producer process this is the code which is to be executed by producer process now suppose we have a buffer with size 10 now here initially value of in is equal to 0 and out is is equal to 0 now it will we will check the while loop while in plus 1 mod buffer size as we know mod gives remainder value of in is right now 0 so 0 plus 1 that is 1 mod buffer size is 10 1 mod 10 gives 1 value of out is 0 so 1 equal to equal to 0 this condition is false because 1 is not equal to 0 as condition is false we can say that their buffer is not full there is a space in a buffer so producer process will produce an item at the first position into the buffer so we can see here the producer process produces an item a1 into the buffer at position 0 and value of in is incremented while the value of out is as it is that is out it as position 0 and in is incremented once in is incremented again this while loop is checked 1 plus 1 mod 2 mod 10 which is 2 is not equal to 0 so again the next item is produced into the buffer at next position in this way this loop goes on continue and producer process will produce an item as shown in the figure in always in the next position whenever value of in is incremented the value is produced into the next position into the buffer now when in reaches to the last position that is at position 9 again the while loop is checked that is here value of in is 9 and out is 0 so in this case the it shows that buffer is full because 10 mod 10 is equal to 0 0 equal to equal to 0 means buffer is full now in this full condition says that producer process should wait because there is no space into the buffer this is what the producer process now let us see the consumer process initially there is no item into the buffer so here producer process will wait now suppose consumer process has to wait now suppose we have a buffer with items produced by the producer process so in this case 
the value of out here at position 0 while in is at position 9. As in is not equal to out, consumer process will consume an item. Out is equal to 0, that is next consume. It will consume an item from the next position into the buffer and value of out is incremented as shown in the figure. So, out is incremented and each and one by one item is consumed by the consumer process. Once the out consume all items and it reaches at the position 9, here in is equal to in is equal to out, out is at position 9 which shows that all items are consumed and as in is equal to equal to out, it shows empty buffer. So, producer process, consumer process has to wait. Here consumer will wait. Now, the producer consumer synchronization. Suppose producer and consumer is executing simultaneously. Initially, there is no item into the buffer. So, producer will produce item at position 0 and increment the value of in. It will place an item A2 into the buffer. At the same time, consumer process value of out is equal to 0. So, it will consume first item from the buffer and increment the value of out. Producer increment the value of in produces an item. Consumer simultaneously consuming an item. In this way, the producer and consumer are synchronized. So, synchronization must be there in producer and consumer problem. So, this is how the synchronization takes place. These are the references. Thank you.